morning. We're going to Vegas tomorrow. I don't so, to do today. Yeah, Raf has a lot of work. So do I. So, I mean, some exciting news. I posted a reel yesterday and it's just titled 10 reasons to hire a trauma informed life coach. I'll post it right here. I don't, I never remember what side to point to. Um, but anyways, I ended up getting like maybe 10 new possible leads. So meaning 10 new possible signups for clients. I really only have space for three more. <laughs> um, but knowing me, I'm gonna open up more because I know uh, it's the beginning of the year, people are really wanting some changes in their life and I wanna be there to help them. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's not like I expect all of them to sign up. That would be great if they did, but um, I have uh, several calls, like several discovery calls with those people. Ow, oh, Isla, hold on. Let me get this thing off for Isla. Mm, here. Okay, um, so anyways, we, Raf and I both do have a busy day today. The kids only have like a half day of school, so we are uh, just trying to juggle everything, make sure we get everything packed, and then I gotta take the packed. kids. Packed, yeah. How about you don't pack right after your DJ gig tonight? Because Raf is DJing tonight, and- Dude, I got so much <laughs> No, but he did this last time when we went to Cali. He didn't pack until like the night. No, no. After he came home from DJing, we left at like five in the morning. I packed at like four. He packed at four in the morning. <laughs> and then he like forgot to bring lots of clothes. That was tough. Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me at all. But anyways, uh, right now we're just getting our morning routine going. The kids are about to have breakfast. I'm going to get a workout in, get ready for the day. And then it's back to back calls until about two o'clock for me and maybe more because i did get some more inquiries last night in the middle of the night so i have to get back to those people but yeah let's just get going because we have a lot of things to do today okay so i didn't vlog all day today i went to go take the kids to my parents house and drop them off there and now I'm back home, it's 10.30, and I'm cooking some mapa dofu for Mommy Oli because I wanna make sure she has some good food for the weekend while we're gone, because she's staying here. And um, I just, I'm so excited to go on vacation. I'm so excited for some mommy and daddy time. This is something that Raf and I told each other that we really wanted to be more intentional with like going on trips together. Um, it took us, you know, you guys know we went to Cali a few months ago, um, but before then it was like for freaking ever since we went. Did I even vlog that? I don't even remember if I vlogged that when we went to Cali. Um, but yeah, it was it was a long time coming and I just, we both said that we wanna take more trips together, like whether it's just a mini getaway like this, um, you know, a quick weekend getaway that's perfect for us where that totally satisfies um, our, our, I don't know, our vacation bug when it comes to just the spending quality time with just us two. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make time for that. We're gonna be more intentional with that. Having three kids, you gotta do that kind of stuff for yourself, right? Just cause you have the kids, it doesn't mean the fun has to stop between husband and wife. So we're gonna have fun. So side note, funny thing happened. Like when I went to my mom's, I asked her, I was like, do you have any clothes, mom? Like I can wear to Vegas. Cause like, I really don't know what to wear. I wear the same outfit like every day. It's sweats pretty much, or, you know, yoga pants and whatnot, workout clothes. And she was like, oh yeah, come upstairs right now. You guys, she ended up packing my entire wardrobe for this Vegas trip. <laughs> I freaking love my mom so much. This is us, like ever since I was little. I have always allowed her to dress me however she wanted to. I've always just trusted her fashion sense because she has a great fashion sense. I, on the other hand, don't trust my own fashion sense sometimes. Like I feel like I've never really had an identity when it came to like how I express myself like on the outside when it came to clothing. Um, so my default is always sweats. My default is always whatever's comfortable and not necessarily fashionable. So having my mom there and also my sister to dress me, to be my personal stylist, is a freaking gift and my mom like she always shops because she knows that it's getting like a she's getting like a three-in-one deal because she knows that she's gonna wear it i'm gonna wear it my sister's gonna wear it and even when my auntie pinky lived here she's gonna wear it so it gets really used you know and it's worth it for whatever she purchases and a lot of times she'll buy something and they just disappear because it somehow ends up in my closet or my sister's closet and she forgets about it so we keep it um but anyways no it's it's really it's all good and fun and she loves to dress us and a lot of the outfits she put together, so cute. And I'm just ready to dress up. If I was if I was gonna pack for myself, I was literally planning on bringing like plain, 
plain Jane clothes. I would have like a, well, like a white t-shirt and jeans and which there's nothing wrong with that obviously, but it's like, shoot, I'm going on a vacay. Like why not dress up, right? So mom came to the rescue with that. <laughs> but okay, I still have a lot of things to do. I don't think I'm gonna sleep because I'm just so excited. Raph is definitely not gonna sleep. He is DJing tonight and he doesn't get home till two. We gotta leave for the airport by like four, 4.30. He hasn't even packed yet. So we're gonna sleep on the plane, most likely. Uh, we're gonna meet Edu and Koi there. They're on the same flight as us. So this is gonna be so much fun. And uh, I'm just ready, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. But yeah, I got I got things to do and uh, I'll bring you guys along with us later, bye. We made it to the airport with barely any sleep. I think I slept for like 30 minutes. So we're gonna get some breakfast, get something to drink. We're waiting for Edu and Koi right now. They should be here soon. They're dropping off their dog, I think. Vacation has officially commenced. Here we go. able to go visit mama and papa scott so we just did a little family visit hung out with add pinks for a little bit and then we had to take a nap you guys it was like we were feeling delirious from feeling so tired because we didn't sleep so we took a couple hours to just have a power nap and now we are ready luckily it's actually not so busy right now once we get inside we're getting our mask back on of course but for now we're just gonna look for some good food to eat maybe some <laughs> maybe some good uh, drinks to drink. And then just, I don't know, we're just gonna see where the night takes us and we're just gonna have some fun.
morning. Okay, it is Sunday now. It is day two in Vegas. We passed out like around two o'clock last night after we went to Fremont and yeah, I was pretty tired. <laughs> I was actually very, very tired. Um, so anyways, today we're going to uh, Omega Mart at Area 15. So many people have said so many crazy things and good things about this place. I can't wait to take you guys there. Um, it's like an immersive experience and at this like I don't, I, can't, I don't even know how to describe the place. I'm just gonna have to take you there, so let's go. We are here at Area 15, and like, what's this game? Eldrin, you guys know Eldrin? Artist. Yeah, just so you know. What the heck? Okay, it is the end of our trip. We're getting ready to fly back home, but this poor guy needed a wheelchair. <laughs> he, there's something, I think he messed up his toe. He messed up his toe. He didn't have supportive shoes. It's these fear gods. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way back home. We're getting ready to go see our babies. We cannot wait. I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm gonna end it here and then we'll just continue on throughout the week. All right, bye. Vegas, baby. Vegas. <laughs>